This video will show you how the pressure devices uh, temperature and humidity monitoring uh, solution template works. Um, this is what the dashboard um, looks like. Essentially, uh, you can set a high temperature and low temperature th thresholds, as well as a high humidity and low humidity uh, thresholds. And if the temperature uh, or the humidity uh, goes above or below, the uh, thresholds uh, alerts are created and shown here in the table. Uh, similar, similarly, um, you, would, you would see um, the color turning red if the uh, temperature or humidity is outside of the band um, banded uh, alert levels. Um, you can simply drag and drop this, uh, just drag this to change the uh, level. Obviously the level for the past times doesn't change. It only changes um, at the uh, uh, next uh, data point coming in. Uh, this, uh, and, and as, as usual, you can select um, your um, device to see uh, data from a particular device if you have many, many devices. Um, and the alert table shows you alerts from all the devices. So now let's go to the flow. Um, this is what the flow looks like. Um, you can download uh, or you can import the flow uh, from menu, uh, import, templates, um, solutions, and temperature humidity detection using NCD uh, sensor. So I've, I, I already had, have it here. The solution template is pretty straightforward. It is based on the uh, edge uh, data acquisition solution template. And it has a subflow that represents your edge devices. So if you double click on that, you can add as many edge devices as, as you have them. Here, I only have two, um, but you could have many, many of them. And each uh, edge device is required to be connected to a NCD, um, long range wireless modem. So the NCD long range wireless modem, um, it connects to an edge device through USB. Um, and then you can have many NC NCD long range wireless uh, uh, sensors uh, sending data to the uh, wireless modem. Um, and you can find many, many different types of sensors on ncd.io. Uh, they are very high quality industrial, industrial grade sensors that you can use um, for almost uh, any kind of uh, sensing activity. So if I go inside the devices subflow, uh, this is what the, uh, this is a flow that's running in the edge devices. So this is the node provided by uh, NCD. A NCD supports uh, node red out of the box. So you can download this particular node from the node red um, uh, flow library and just drag and drop it into your flow and the sensor data will uh, come out of the output port here. And here you can format the data, uh, add a timestamp, uh, add some important uh, metadata, um, and then um, you, th this takes the formatted data uh, into a local influx uh, DB database. That is if you have installed Prussian Edge um, on your Edge device with influx DB um, as the option, you can add this to um, stream data into that local uh, influx DB. And um, uh, the alert levels uh, comes from the cloud designer, meaning that if every time you change the alerts, um, they would actually be downloaded into your edge device. And here it's checked against the uh, alert levels to, uh, to, to um, uh, raise alert or not. And um, the NCD sensor comes as a JSON object. Um, so if you have a sensor, that includes many different, uh, you know, uh, individual sensors such as temperature, humidity, um, pressure, etc. Would be a JSON object. In our case, since this solution template is detecting temperature and humidity, 
So I simply get the temperature and humidity um, properties out of that uh, main uh, uh, sensor output data. And that um, data comes out of the port one and port two and into this top level where um, uh, it's plotted on uh, charts and gauges. So as you can see, those two plots the uh, high and low level thresholds. And this, is, this one here uh, sets the control for the different uh, regions uh, in the gauge. And the, this, this here creates those alerts um, if there are alerts on the temperature or humidity. Um, this here sets those alert levels. Um, so you obviously, we assume that when you uh, first um, uh, load the flow for the first time, you, don't, you have not set the temperature and humidity alerts yet, so you have to set a default. Um, but as soon as you um, slide the settings uh, for the thresh thresholds, the uh, flow will remember those settings both in the designer and also send it over to the edge devices to update the threshold settings. Um, and here you have the uh, device uh, select uh, 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 dashboard element here, a clock toolbar, toolbar. Those are the same as what you have in the edge um, data acquisition solution template. So overall, the solution is pretty straightforward. Um, you can modify anything you like. Um, and uh, with uh, uh, NCD sensors, um, you can also change it to support other type of uh, NCD sensors.